Hey everyone, welcome to the Fiber Floozy Podcast. I'm Jill, and sometimes known as Blossom. So, I thought I'd do this a little separate from the other video that I did. That way you guys don't have to watch for such a long time uh, to get everything in, because I know some people don't like the longer videos. So, I mentioned this in my... Um, video that I did where I was on the deck a couple videos back and I had gotten some magazines in and I have not had time to show them to you guys but I showed you a little bit about this one but if you did not see that I want to show you a couple more things this was the little Annie's catalog I got now I know some of these are probably not good prices for everybody um, some of you may not want to pay this for these patterns, but it was interesting to me that this was mostly a pattern book. I didn't realize that they sent out something like this. Okay, so they've got all kinds of different things in here got vests and cardigans, they've got this Irish coat crochet, they've got a Rwanda, five dollars, this one the Daisy Chain Cardi is an intermediate. It's a download only, and it's $10.50. This Ruana or Cocoon Trug is $6. I haven't really looked to see if there's, like, any $2 ones or anything like that. $5 seems to be about the cheapest. Because, like, even this one crochet hat is $4.99 but it was it was fun to look through here's a pineapple pizzazz $5.99 so I don't know you guys may think these are too expensive There are some doll patterns in here too. There's some little, some baby stuff and some little kid stuff. Some makes for dolls. If y'all do not watch her, there is a YouTuber here. Um, it's a stroke of life, Melissa, I believe, and she makes a lot of things for the 18 inch dolls. And she also does, I want to say she does some Barbie stuff too, and some sewing. Here's a poncho for $6.95. Lots of different blankets. And there's some things in here that I know I've seen in other places and didn't realize that they were Annie's creations, okay? Or made for Annie or collaboration with Annie. There's a big cable knit cardigan. And they don't have the designers in here. Is what I don't know why they don't tell who the designer is. You see that one's $7.99. So anyway, that's a little bit more about that. I didn't really say a whole lot about that. And then the Mary Maxim. I told you I love this one. So you've got small projects. This is very similar to the Kirshner's. It's got uh, your canvas 
kits. It's got your crochet kits, your felting kits, your beading, all of those. Here's these calendars, very similar to, to Hirschner's. There's stuff for dolls in here. Um, here's one. This is a kit. It's for baby stripe yarn and buttons to make a doll. And it, so it's a whole kit, the polyfill and everything, and it's $19.99. Now that other one was just the pattern. So just kind of depends on what you would want to do. They've got some amigurumi yarn here. Um, you see that? Amigurumi yarn for $1.99. And all these little things like some things I haven't seen except maybe uh, through Pinterest or I know some of, some of you know some of the links to people who make these patterns. They have art like the coloring, the gel pens and the coloring and all that stuff. Uh, they have the pillowcases. Here's the 18 inch doll things. There's a little nativity set and I was really wanting to get these. Uh, there's a crochet one and a knit one, but I would like to make those for my daughter. Okay, then we get into the yarn. Oh, there's some cute clothes in here too. So they've got pajamas and t-shirts. I crochet so I let's see I knit past my bedtime I crochet past my bedtime all I want to do is wear pajamas and crochet and those are $30 for the set $14.99 for t-shirts Okay, now they have Burnout Softy Chunky is $2.99. And then their Mary Maxim, they have one called Aspen. And I'm just not very familiar with the Mary Maxim yarns. What what you know what they're gonna feel like. This one is a, a number five bulky, it's $3.99. The Aspen comes in those colors down here. And here's a blanket in that. So this blanket set is called a crosshatch blanket. It's $48.99. And then they have the Mary Maxim's Best Value for $4.99. And it is... 100% acrylic and 342 yards and 6 ounces. The Erin Irish Tweed is the one I was looking at and the Erin Irish Twist. 100% acrylic, 205 yards, 4 ounce skeins. For three ninety nine, and those are in natural colors. Then they have their Titan, which is a bulky eighty yards and three ounces, hundred percent acrylic, and it's three forty nine. And they call that Titan. I don't see. They've got like 16 colors in that. Solids. And 
and this is the prism. Now I think that some some of you I've seen do a haul on this prism yarn. I'm pretty sure I've seen Ross from Smell Great Guy has done that. I have never made anything like this, and I just am like, I really would really like to learn how to do this. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, and there's the prism yarns. What is that? One, two, three, four, ten colors. And those are four ninety nine for two hundred and ninety yards. It's a three point five ounce ball, hundred percent acrylic. Then they have their starlet. I've seen this before. It's 329, 180 yards. Uh, it, this is their number four, their worsted. So like their, like their classic. And they have some heathers in it, and they have some ombre-looking ones in it too, some striping ones. So there's a lot of colors. It's like their 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 brand of a worsted weight yarn. Starlet. That looks blurry, sorry. Look at all those colors. Look at this blanket. Not your average corner to corner. It's forty six dollars and ninety nine cents. Like window panes. That looks awesome. There's just so much in here. They've got sock yarn. They've got some sugar and cream. They've got some scrubby, some red heart stuff. They've got Premier Home Cotton. Uh, look at all the colors. They want $189 a ball for that. That seems pretty good for the Premier Home Cotton. See again, they don't tell you the designers. Okay, this one, they tell you the name of these people because they had a contest. So these all have names because they had a contest for them. There's some really great um, totes and things. All kinds of different carryalls. See, I really like this magazine. I almost like it better than Hershner's. Maybe it's just different. I don't know. But it's super cute. They're the Red Heart Super Saver. They're having a closeout on some of the discontinued colors, and it's $1.99. So there's Fresh Mint, Blue Suede, Sunrise, Butterfly, Plum Pudding, and Earthy. Those are the ones that are being discontinued. I like that. Okay. And I got the Hershners, and you know, y'all, y'all know what's great about Hershners is they have every color. So, you've probably seen it. I don't think there's anything new. I don't think there's any new colors in the magazine. They do sell their cotton crochet thread on a cone for $20.
and they sell their Herster's brand, you get a pack of four coordinating ones for $7.99. That's pretty cool. Um, but I didn't see there's some new colors, new some newer ones out, and I don't remember where I was looking. Which website? Because I had like 14 emails this week. From yarn companies. And I don't remember what those were. Like, there was a mandala ombre, and it showed all those colors. The red heart, it's a wrap sprinkles. Have y'all seen that? There's some real, I want every one of those. There's another one. I can't remember. I picked up this magazine, which is from Country Sampler. This was at the dollar store. 30-minute DIYs. I just glanced in it. Uh... You know, things like taking a rubber boot. I love looking at these garden stuff, like the gardening stuff. Here's one where you do the, on the front, did you see that? That's a towel rack that you remake into a shelf. There's some cool stuff in here. But I have not had time to really go through it, so I don't know... And some of it's holiday still in here. Here's a deal where you take your basket and you hang your spoons and things from it. That's neat. Okay, Crochet World. I wasn't really tickled about it this time. This is the February issue, February 2020. On the cover is... Sort of a poppy color blanket. Lots of different textures in it. Universal, no. Plymouth came out with a line that is a 75% merino, 20% nylon, and 5% lurex. And it's called Electrolyte. And I looked it up, and there's some absolutely gorgeous colors. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So here is a top down tunic by Dora Orenstein. And it's sized all the way to a 3X. Now I've already learned from this one that I don't wouldn't want to do it in a light color. I think it's been 19 minutes already. Here is a silk wave shawl. Using darn good yarn. Look, Z, darn good yarn. Did y'all catch her live? Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. I only got in like 10 minutes, but I was like in shock. I was in there with Z. She said hi. There's an owl. Here is a headband for a little girl.
and some coasters. A baby set with little hearts on it. Look at it. Hearts on a bum. Mm. Here is a heart rug. What they use? Burnout Pop. That one's called Faded Red. I was going to say, I haven't seen that color. Here's a bag. I do like this bag. It's got pop, uh, what do you call them? Puff stitch. Puff stitch hearts. They used Drops Paris four weight cotton. Another doily. Done in like pinks and purples with hearts around. You see the hearts? A Victorian Valentine. And I was excited to see this. I would like to make a couple of these. This is a microwave bowl cozy. Can you imagine all the different colors you could do that one in? Here's a hot pad. Talk about a few tools to have. Nothing. crazy there. Textured Shells Scarf. In red. Remember, this is February's. I do like the slouch on this hat. It's done, it's done in my favorite yarn, Heartland. Palm. Sorry, Miguel. They did a wrap with the pockets. It's it's whiter, so it's not a scarf. It's a wrap. Crystal did one with the hood. Okay, and you know what else? I was so excited when I saw this. They're going to have the CGOA Crochet Guild of America is going to be, and I need to get online and get a membership. It's www.crochet.org, the Crochet Guild of America. The conference is going to be in New Orleans, and I think it's in June. Heck yeah, I'm going. Here's a cable afghan. This is by Renee Stevens. See, at least they get credit to the designers. Some great textures in that one. Did y'all see Bonnie Bay Barker came out with a sweater today?
Northern Lights Throw. This looks like it would be fast. It's Karen Big Cakes. This one's done in Blueberry Tort. How many? Three. And it comes out to be 45 by 55 with three cakes in that. Here's one called the Popcorn Patch. There's lots of texture in here. Kristen Stoltzfutz Kristen Stoltzfutz Clay is the designer. It's kind of a gray, gray like a lavendery gray. It's Plymouth Yarns on Pour, number four weight. This one is a basket weave throw. Karen, one pound, four of them in ocean. I like that texture. Magenta medley, no hearts, but some picos. Okay, here's the blanket from the front. It's called a textured panels throw by Margaret Wilson. And they use Red Heart Soft. Uh, 12 balls of coral. That's a four weight. Here's a three in one doily by Margaret Wilson. So three ways to do that. And so they show you how to color it. It's a whole deal on doing color on these doilies. So that's a crochet world. Now the crochet magazine, which is this is the spring 2020 catalog. The spring 2020 magazine. Jonah's got classes on Annie's now. Okay, here's a wildflower um, dishcloth and a ripple baby blanket. This one's a gentle, looks like. Four, two, five, six, like a five and six. I don't know for sure. What is that, 11? I don't know. This one, okay, let me show you first. Does that not look like a little hola skirt for your mason jar? put some beads on the end of those fringes. I was glad to see this though. This is the preemie caps. This is a little pattern for, for the preemie caps. These are some pretty kitchen sets. Kind of vintagey looking. I love that. I wish I knew how to pick my colors like that. There is a dress. Now, if you're looking for a little black dress with a fringe, goes all the way to a 2X. This one is crocheted. It's very pretty. 
I don't know that I would ever wear a crochet dress though. But I bet it wouldn't take as long as that sweater I'm making. This is the Spring Breeze tunic that's on the front. What did they use? Omega Symphonia Light, which is a DK or a three weight. Up to six skeins. Hmm. I see that Omega in the magazines. See what else? And charts. That one has charts. Now, okay, this is really super cute. It goes all the way to a 3X. I just don't know what it would look like on. It looks really cute on her because she's little. But this is the Anytime Granny Square Cardi. It's so fresh and pretty, isn't it? No uh, buttons or anything. Of course, you could put a little toggle right here to break it up. And here she is wearing it with jeans. See how cute? I mean, she's cute, you know? Mm -hmm. It's made in almost like a fork. Here is a Everyday Casual Cardi. Now, I could see doing this one in a lot of different colors. They did this one in the Sheep. No. The Jeep Jeeps. Jeepses. Jeepses, I think is how you say it. Stonewash XL. For the biggest size, you need 12 of them. And there are... 82 yards in them, or 50 grams, so it's like 6 of a 100 gram one. But I like the shaping on it. I just don't like this one. Y'all may like it. I just don't really care for this one. That one they used Blue Sky Fibers Cotton. I bet you could do that other one in the cotton. There's a bag here. They picked a very, it's a mandala bag, but they picked a very neutral color. That's a real pretty design on that one. It's got a little tie right here with tassels. It's kind of boho. Jan would like it. There's a headband with beads. I have to get this kind of close, so. Y'all see the beads? Yeah, my whip wall over there, I've got a bead project. These are pretty. Here's another one that has pearls. And here's one that has pineapple lace. Just like a pearl ever so often. And this one has pineapple lace in it. That one's got a bead on the back for the 
closure. Then they've got some skinny scarves. There's a lilac one, an open ladder work in the middle. Here's one that's reversible. Here's a pineapple shawl. Here's a little dress. Y'all seen that? I, that came up on my Facebook. Some baby headbands. I think that other magazine, what kind of got me on it was there were so many blankets in it. I'm kind of over the whole blanket thing. <laughs> Here's a nine patch throw. So like the nine patch quilts, farmhouse nine patch throw. It's neat how they make it stand out. There's some pillows. This is a domino pillow. It's got a neat texture. And then the back side is plain. I'm not much into pillows. It looks like it. See, here's that Omega Symphonia that they used. And they have some of it that's great for bag making down there. What is that one? Hilos. La Hespilla Nylon. That is the crochet magazine. That's it. That's it for the magazines. I just thought it would be better to put this out separate from the other one because I know it makes it so long, you know. So I hope you all enjoyed looking through those. I appreciate you being here and spending time with me. Uh, if you watch these back to back, bless you. <laughs> I appreciate it. And uh, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much again for watching. Have fun today.